everyone, here we are right here in Perm where we just renovated their master bathroom and turned it into a beautiful little spa area for them. So previously before when you walked into the bathroom, it was very dark, very dungeony. We had some green tile that went up the wall. The tile is very outdated and their shower was really small. This homeowner really wanted this space to feel like her own private getaway spa area. She wanted a bigger tub. She wanted it light and bright and airy. And I think we accomplished just that. Before we had a little shower that was in the corner here that was very small but also very dark and she wanted to make that wider and incorporate a larger tub. So what we did is we put a six foot tub in and actually made the master closet just a tad bit smaller in order to do that but it worked out great and now she has an area that's light, bright, airy and how cool is the shape of this tile. These picket tiles have been so popular. What we did, which is really hard to see on camera, is we did a matte tile mixed with the glossy tile. So every other tile is matte and then glossy, which when the light hits it just perfectly, you can see that and adds so much to the shower itself. Instead of doing a regular size recess shelf, we actually did a custom recess shelf for her so she could make it exactly the size that she wanted it. We put some really fun little penny rounds in the back of that and then the bottom shelf is actually the same quartz countertop that we did on her vanity. So if you remember before, we had tile on the bathroom floor, but we decided to cozy that up and do a warmer looking wood toned vinyl planking that is waterproof and runs right through the bathroom floor. It really just softens it up and makes it feel so much more cozy. So transitioning over this way, you can see where we once before had this bifold door that would not close for her. It was very outdated so we did replace the doors. And then on this side, we did a larger vanity. We did it at kitchen height, which is nice. Check out the great ambiance on the floor where the toe kick lighting. I swear to you that it is the best thing ever if you incorporate that toe kick lighting. It's such a great night light ambiance. You know, you have to use the restroom in the middle of the night. You can just leave that toe kick light on and it just welcomes you into that room without having to hurt your eyes when you turn on those bright lights. We've also got this gorgeous new vanity and countertop. I love the way the veining in the countertop pulls out that warmth in the vanity. And I also want to note one other really cool thing about the vanity itself is that we did some brushed gold hardware on the vanity, but as you can see, we've actually got black hardware for the faucet and we also have black hardware for the shower itself too. So it's okay to mix metals. In fact, I think it really adds to that overall design. And behind the vanity, what we did to give it a little bit more of that feature wall appeal is we actually built in the mirror around some beautiful shiplap that we had painted and then did the two sconce lights on each side. I mean, how sophisticated and classy does that look? One last unique thing that we did incorporate into this bathroom is before we had a swinging door that was in the way. And so what we decided to do is build in a pocket door. And as you can see, this is a unique pocket door because it's got this beautiful frosted glass panels. And so what I love so much about that, of course, is that you can just slide it in and move it out of the way. It's really important to think about all those little details, like I mentioned, the toe lighting, the sconce lights, building in that mirror, having that feature wall, and incorporating those fun shapes and textures into the bathroom, such as the flooring, the countertop ledge in the bottom of the recessed shelf, the fun shaped ticket tiles. So don't be afraid to think out of the box, customize it, make it your own, and make it just uniquely you. There is nothing more rewarding in this industry than having that final outcome and knowing all the stages and steps that it took to get there. So for instance, from the beginning to the end of this project could have been about two months long, but we just had everybody in here nonstop, the electricians, plumbers, carpenters, you name it. And everybody in our team just does such a wonderful job. So we appreciate every, each and every one of them for what they do for us. And we love when our clients have outcomes like this.